Alright guys, what's going on and welcome to the video. So in this one, um, I just wanted to give you guys my experience over the last eight and a half months with this mill scale 94 gallon offset smoker. Um, I'm gonna go over some general things like the price, the different specs on the smoker, and just my overall experience with it. Um, so let's get right into it. Hopefully this video doesn't run on too long because I don't like talking to the camera that much, as some of you guys can tell. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna go over is the price. So when I first got this back, I got it delivered last august it was 4100 bucks plus 700 dollars shipping um so yeah it's pretty pricey but if you look on their website now it's like 4700 bucks and they have some different features you can get on there um, like that the little plancha on top of the firebox that you could get and you can get some other different things as far as like the finish on the paint i think it's a little bit different now i got the raw raw steel so there's like no you know no paint or anything on there i just like how i just like the raw look basically how it looks so is 4100 bucks a crazy price? Is it pretty expensive? I mean, I don't know. There's other smokers that I was checking out that you could easily price them out at 3500 bucks. And I'm sitting there thinking like, if I'm gonna already spend that much money, I might as well get something that I really want and spend a little bit of extra cash. Um, so that's pretty much one of the reasons why I went ahead and got this thing. And there are different things I considered before even buying this. Here. Here's the inside of the smoker right here. So as you can see, there's no top shelf. For a lot of people, that's a deal breaker. Um, but for me, I didn't even care because I've had this Yoder YO640 pellet cooker for like 10 years. And this does have a top shelf, but I've never filled this whole entire thing up. Um, I usually have a little bit of food up here, a little bit of food down there, or everything on the bottom or everything on the top. So as far as cooking space goes on the other smoker, I just felt like I didn't even need a top rack at all. So, and also just the overall general cooking space on this uh, mill scale. Um, this is the perfect size for me um, right here. I'm going to go over some of the dimensions. I'll, I'll go over that in just a second, but the actual size of this is perfect size for me. I mean, it says you can fit four briskets on here, but you could really do about three comfortably on here. You could fit a bunch of pork butts, a bunch of chicken, a bunch of ribs. Um, I don't usually do that big of cooks anyway. But, you know, if I was doing something crazy big cook for a bunch of people, I would probably just do a few things on here. I got a pit barrel cooker. I got a Weber kettle. Um, so I, there's always extra cooking space that I could use. Then, as you can see, it's got this little area right here for the water pan. And then the firebox is right under there, obviously. And so years ago, before I even had a YouTube channel or anything like that, I was always really wanting to buy... Uh, Yoder loaded Wichita and I was thinking about that for years, but I just never had the cash and I kept kind of second-guessing it And I'm glad I never bought it But then when I got into doing YouTube there are people out there You know channels that I like a lot and channels that I follow uh, a lot of them were getting the uh, the Lone Star grills smokers and I was really considering getting one of those um, But then I kind of thought about it and I was thinking like as a youtuber You want to stand out and you want to have attention to your channel whether that's for money or just for satisfaction or whatever it is um, and then I was thinking why do I want the same kind of smoker that everyone else has? You're not really going to stand out. So I just kind of kept thinking about it and not really pulling the trigger on the, what smoker I wanted to get. And also on top of that, I didn't have the money for it. So, and so a little over a year ago, I saw Matt from E-Church cooking on that pit right there. And I was like, hell yeah, like that's the smoker I want to get. And I had money at the time. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger. I did a little bit of research and it made a lot of sense. And a huge reason why I bought that is because there's not a lot of content on YouTube on these smokers. So naturally, it's going to bring a lot of attention to the channel because there's not a lot of people out there cooking on the mill scale 94. And that's one of the reasons, that's one of the main reasons why I got it. Seriously, just the way this pit looks, it looks badass. I know you shouldn't buy something just based on the looks, but you know it's great build quality. It's quarter inch steel all the way around. It's going to retain heat really well and it looks awesome and it's gonna make you stand out on YouTube, which is something as a YouTuber, that's what I want. I know a lot of people, you know, people sitting at home, they're not gonna really be thinking about that that much, but for me, it was a huge consideration, and it's one of the main reasons why I bought it. I also was thinking about getting a Franklin pit, but you have to go on an email wait list, and I'm glad I never got a chance to buy it before I bought that, because, I mean, there's some things I didn't like about it, like the, the damper on the smokestack, you can't even control that with a Franklin pit, because there's no, there's no damper control at all. And the firebox door has the Franklin logo kind of imprinted in there, and I just thought that was kind of lame. And there's also a bunch of people that feel the same way about that as I do. Um, so yeah, I mean, I had this for about six months. And I think like a couple months ago, I got an email from Franklin Pit saying that they had a pit if I wanted to buy it. And I'm like, hell no, like, 
I'm glad I never got a chance to buy it, but I'm gonna go over some quick specs on this pit real quick Just do some measurements because I know there's some people out there. They might want to build their own smoker I've gotten some messages on Instagram about people wanting you know different dimensions and stuff because they want to you know Know exactly how it is. So I'll show you guys real quick All right, so this entire cook chamber right here is a 24 inch diameter The firebox right here is a 20 inch diameter the length of the cooking chamber, 48 inches lengthwise, and the firebox is 24 inches long, 48 inch smokestack. I think the diameter on the smokestack is like four, four and a half inches. All the pits come standard with a tell true uh, thermometer, as you can see right there. Eight inch heavy duty wheels. Got these badass locking casters that are heavy duty. Work really well. I'm just gonna admit, I am pretty biased when it comes to this, um, just because I spent $5,000 of my hard earned money on this thing. And if I thought this thing was a piece of crap, I would have made this video a long time ago, just telling you guys that it's a piece of junk and not to buy it. Um, and also, you know, I got my videos featured with Mill Scale, and if I really didn't like this cooker, I just wouldn't have said nothing. I wouldn't make this video at all. So, trust me, if you're on the fence about buying this thing, this thing is badass. You guys should go ahead and get it. And so what I like about this is it's extremely easy to cook on um, compared to like the first cooker I ever had was a Brinkman, Brinkman Trailmaster. If you guys know what that is, I'll show a picture. But um, yeah, it's one of those budget smokers. It's made out of sheet metal. You open the door and it goes like 50 degrees down. If there's wind outside, you know, it's, it's going to fluctuate in temperature. And then I had no idea what I was doing back then. I thought I knew, but I had no idea. Um, I remember putting chickens on there and they came out black. I didn't know anything about fire management at all. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad, but so using this smoker, it's not going to make you the best pit master or anything like that, but it's going to help you out a lot. Now I'm sure there's some, some hardcore pit masters out there that if they cook on a budget smoker, they could probably make better barbecue than me cooking on that thing, but it's definitely going to help you out. It retains heat really well. All the food I've cooked on there comes out really good. Really have no complaints. There's really not much to dislike about this thing. Um, one thing I have noticed. Around right here, when this thing is cooking, there is a little bit of leakage as far as smoke. And I think when you're paying, you know, 4,800 bucks for something, there really shouldn't be any smoke that leaks out of this thing. I mean, you could always modify it and put some gaskets on there, um, but you really shouldn't have to. Also, when you get a cooker like this and you have the firebox right there, you got this little area right here, you're kind of giving up some space because the heat comes up. Uh, and it's extremely hot right here compared to the rest of the pit. So that's also one of my complaints because you're kind of um, just giving up a little bit of real estate on here. But this isn't the only pit that's like that. There's a bunch of pits out there that have that same kind of issue. Um, a lot of people put like a wood, a lot of people put like a wood block right there just to block the heat. Um, I never really usually do that. I just kind of keep the food off a little farther back. Then also it wouldn't hurt to have like a little shelf on here, like something small, maybe something folding down. That wasn't a deal breaker for me, but this is something to consider. Um, also, you could have put something maybe off of the back here. But overall, I really have no complaints. Ah. All right, and so what kind of value are you getting out of getting a smoker like that? So think about it like this. There are chicks out there that buy $5,000 handbags from like Louis Vuitton, or their man's buying them a handbag that's not that expensive, and they're gonna use it for like three months, and they're gonna let it sit there and never use it ever again. I think that's crazy. So a lot of people are going to think buying a $5,000 smoker is crazy also. So it's a totally subjective thing. Um, you're going to have to make that decision for yourself. You could also spend three grand or you could spend a hundred grand on a car. And at the end of the day, it's going to take you to the same exact place you're trying to go to. So like I was saying, when I first got this thing delivered, you know, years down the road, you're going to probably spend all that cash, but then you're not going to really think about it down the road. One thing I regret a lot is this, this pellet cooker right here. Now you see the bottom right here. When I first bought this, I was going back and forth because it's a few hundred extra dollars to get a competition cart. And I cheaped out and I never got it. And ever since I got this thing delivered, every time I look at it, I wish I would've got the competition cart. And that few hundred dollars extra wouldn't even be an issue right now. So at the end of the day, who's this smoker for? I don't know. I mean, maybe it's for someone who wants to flex on their friends. They wanna act cool. They wanna have something well built, great quality. Um, at the end of the day and so whether people want to admit it or not uh, no matter what it is that you buy you're buying the marketing you're buying the brand um, you're buying the image that they're portraying and I think Millscale's got a cool image 
Um, it's something that I like. I have zero regrets about buying this smoker. So if you're on the fence, life's a risk. Hey, life's a risk, carnal. I know people are going, people have hard times with money or whatever, but if it's not an issue for you, then I suggest you buy that smoker. Have a good life. Thank you for watching the video. If you got any other questions about this thing, I tried to cover as much as I could in a short amount of time. Didn't want to really have a run-on video. Um, any questions, just put it down below in the comments. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share the content, go make some barbecue. Peace out, guys.